Have you ever had trouble figuring out how much soil you need for a garden project? Maybe you're filling a low spot in the garden, or you've just built some new raised beds and you need to fill those. And how about mulch? When you're trying to mulch the garden, how much mulch do you really need? Well, calculating those numbers is not a trivial thing, so I thought I'd help you, and I created the Soil Calculator here on my Garden Mess blog. So in this video, I'm going to show you the Soil Calculator and show you how to use it. Let's get back to Google so we can start right at the beginning. First thing you do is find my website, GardenMess.com. That will take you to my home page, and you can see the menus at the top. Go to a list of topics and find the soil calculator. And there you are. That's all there is to getting here. Now to make this calculator work, you need to supply three pieces of information. The length, the width, and the depth of the area that you're trying to fill. The calculator comes with handy units, so you can select between feet, yards, or meters. And for the depth, we use inches, feet, and centimeters. Once you've got your units selected, just enter the numbers. For a simple example, let's say we're filling a garden bed, and this bed is made with lumber that's eight feet long and four feet wide. Now the depth is two feet, so that's 24 inches. Or you could come over here and change the units to feet if you prefer. We've got the numbers entered, and you can see that the calculations are instantaneous. The bulk soil you will need, 64 cubic feet, 2.4 cubic yards, cubic meters, liters, whatever units you'd like to work in, the results are right there. Now let's say you want to buy this material in bags instead of bulk. Well, just scroll down and all the numbers are there for you. If you're going to buy the smaller bags, which are 21 liters or 0.75 cubic feet, you need 85 of them. If you're going to buy two cubic foot bags or 57 liters, you need 32 of them. The numbers are all here in all of the units that you might want. Now let's go back up and look at another example. Let's say you want to order some mulch for your garden. And you have a garden bed that's 87 feet long. And it's three and a half feet wide. How thick do you want to lay the mulch? Well, I recommend about two to three inches, so let's go with the two inch one. If you want this kind of mulch, I suggest you order bulk and not by the bag. So what do you need? Well, you need 50 cubic feet or one and a half cubic meters. It's that simple. Now, if we scroll down a little farther, there's some more information that can be useful. There's instructions on how to use this calculator. And then it looks at different ways of doing more complicated calculations. For example, let's say you have several beds. There are two ways you can do that. You can calculate the soil for one bed and multiply by three, or you can simply take the length of one and multiply that by three and put it in the calculation. Either one works. How about irregular areas? I mean, not everything in the garden is rectangular in shape. So there's even some advice here on how to figure out an area that's not rectangular. And what about an area like this where you really have two areas. Well, the best thing to do is to split it into rectangles, calculate each rectangle separately, and add up the amounts. You don't need a soil calculator a lot of the time, but when you need one, it's really nice to have one at hand. So take this URL here, save it somewhere so you can get back here, or put it in your favorites folder on your browser. That way you'll always have it available. And you can help me out with my blog by passing it on to your friends and telling them about it as well. Now, if you'd like to know which soil to use for your raised beds, have a look at this video right here, or here, or up here, or maybe it's over here. Happy gardening.